Hello. Thrombolysis, an acute stroke, is a good treatment, and the quicker it's given, the better the outcome. This short video reenacts a stroke thrombolysis so that you can familiarise yourself with the local pathway here at the IUH. Okay, so Hello, are you HED? Pre alert stroke? Age? Male or female? Time of onset? Any injuries? Which side? Any anticoagulants? Can you give me their OBS? What's their ETA? See you in five minutes. Hello, CT. Salvador, next practitioner stroke here. We've got a pre alert coming in in five minutes. Thank you. Make sure you put in the side of symptoms. It's pre alert. We're going straight to CT. We've got a handover. The NIHSS gives a quantitative assessment of a patient's stroke deficit. It is a requirement for giving autoplays. Just Go through the sheet, it's quick with a bit of practice. Level of consciousness. Hello Mr Jones, how are you? Hello, hello. He's alert. And if you look at my nose, can you see my fingers moving yeah. in the corner of your arm? Who said that? Ready for the scan, off we go, because we can. Um, hi, we've just done a CT scan. Um, are you okay hot reporting it because um, it's a time dependent thrombolysis? So we're back from CT and we've got the stroke folder profile in our top that an IHSS scale on the back along with the thrombolysis proforma to assess the patient. So complete the paperwork systematically and you can't go wrong and look for the time of onset. Be clear about that and look at the contraindications and any possible exclusions that you can discuss with the stroke nurse practitioner or the stroke consultant on call. Is the patient on a DOAP? No. What's the glucose? 5.5. And uh, the blood pressure? This blood pressure looks quite high. We probably should do something about it before thrombolizing. We should get some levetal off. Good idea. 10 milligrams of levetal on are usually effective. Mm. The beta has been successful, the blood pressure is now stable, 165 over 90. It refer to the guidelines for the limitations. If you're lucky, you'll get a phone call from radiology telling you there's no contraindications to thrombolysis on the head scan. However, in practice, you will need to keep checking to see if the report is available. Ready. So now we're ready to thrombolise the patient, but we should consent them first. We have some patient information leaflets in the stroke folder in ED and also on the internet. Thrombolysis or thrombectomy is the only treatment for stroke. One in ten people will be nearly cured of their stroke deficits with thrombolysis and another two in ten will be much improved. There can be some risks as well with thrombolysis and sometimes you can experience small bleeds or cerebral bleeds. We would take immediate action if this would be to the case and also you could experience some anaphylaxis. Watch out for anaphylaxis, any tongue swelling or mouth tingling may be a sign. Refer to the guidelines as it's easily treated on the back of the form. Um, once you're ready to thrombolise, there's a ready retina in the stroke folder that tells you the dose per weight. Doctors have to give the bolus dose, but the nursing staff can help with the infusion. So once thrombolysis is set up, we need to monitor the patient very closely not just for complications, but for blood pressure every 15 minutes. Once the infusion set up, as long as the patient's stable, they should be moved to the stroke ward as soon as possible. NIHSS certification can be done online. Just Google Blue Cloud NIHSS training. 